got a phone call this morning, and it was from the company that sent a technician out to look at my power chair. And they said, hey, we got a bunch of parts. You available this morning? We can come out and install them on your chair. And I was immediately confused because the insurance company denied the request to have this stuff fixed. And I said, I didn't think the insurance was going to let us do that. And they said, we'll take care of that. Can we come install the parts? The guy's headed out here in a couple hours, and uh, he said he's got motors, tires, uh, armrests, the hydraulic dampeners, which are part of the suspension. Um, I'm totally surprised. So, yeah. Uh, I don't know who's going to pay for it, but it's not me. <laughs> so, anywho, uh, they'll be here shortly. Maybe I'll have a decent power chair to use. Also today, I'm supposed to be getting a delivery from Amazon, and I'm using one of their Amazon lockers. Now, this is actually a separate video that I'm going to be releasing later about Amazon lockers and their accessibility. It's something I've been working on for a couple of weeks. But anyhow, I should have a case today for this one tablet that I don't really use. Uh, typically, um, this company that's coming to fix my power chair, this one, um, they just flop the thing over on its side when they want to do repairs on it. And that's actually really bad for the armrests and it scratches the hell out of everything. What I'm doing is I'm building just a little wooden frame that we can slide under the chair, which gives it enough clearance uh, for them to pull the tires off and whatnot. This elevator smells like chicken wings. I just came down here trying to find some two by fours or pieces of wood or something that I can make into a spacer. Uh, so when the technician gets here to work on my chair, he can space it up as opposed to tipping it on its side to get the tires off. Came down here, found this nice little wooden thing uh, I'm gonna get my saw cut it in half and it'll be perfect. I just need to take take a measurement here of how high this needs to be and then I found that white thing with the two by fours and some other pieces of wood. I'm gonna cut those, screw them together and make a little platform uh, so he can lift up the back of it, slide this thing under, then we're good. No scratching, no throwing things on the ground and then I'm happy. <laughs> Turns out, this stuff is not wood at all. It's some sort of like, plastic or, I don't know. It cut real easy though and it's still structural, but I mean look, it's white all the way through. All right, um, I got all the pieces about the right size. It's got a ton of screws in it, so I can completely disassemble it, rearrange it in the way I want, and use the same screws to put it back together into a nice little platform. We now have a custom stack of boards which should be tall enough to set underneath my power chair and space it up off the ground so they can pull the wheels off. We are now mid-repair in the hallway. Figured this was the uh, best place with a lot of room to actually do some work on this. The tires wouldn't come off. I used the Sawzall to cut the rubber off, and now we've separated the bead, and I'm going to use the Sawzall to cut the rest of the tire off. We officially have new tires, new motors, all kinds of new stuff. About to head over to the store, give it a test, and hopefully it will work. I haven't gotten any error messages on the screen just yet. Well, I made it the 2.1 mile trip over to the store and back, and the chair actually seems to be working. Haven't gotten any error messages on it yet. Although last time I did reset the software, it was okay for a couple of days, so I'm going to keep using this thing and see if it starts having problems again. But uh, I think with the new motors and everything else, we might have solved the problems that it had. But we shall see. ventured into Lake Oswego, which means I have to be careful because the sidewalks might end or there might be an open pit or maybe there's spike strips on the ground. You never really know at this city.
sidewalk officially ends right here. Uh, sort of a dirt path. I think this is doable. And the second we pass the old folks home, no more sidewalk. <laughs> We have arrived at Plaid Pantry and the Amazon Locker. There you go. All right, thank you. Okay, we're headed back now. I uh, got my package from the Amazon Locker. Once again, that's part of another video I'm working on. But this chair seems to be functioning so far. I've gone four miles now, haven't gotten any error messages. Uh, so we might be back in business. I also like this chair though because it has several dozen warning lights on it. <laughs> Looks like someone pushed a lawnmower through here. I don't think I'm going to make that run again at night. Uh, that was ridiculously dangerous, especially during rush hour because it's like six o'clock. But the chair did well. Um, I've got almost six miles on it now, and seem to be working all right. More importantly, my Amazon package. If I can open it. Uh, this is the uh, direct from China packaging. The reason they always use this type of white plastic bag. It's a tablet I've had lying around for quite some time. It's a cellular capable one. Uh, so I stuck one of my Project Phi SIM cards in it. Um, but Running around with a tablet that doesn't have a case on it is it makes it not useful to me because I I drop stuff so much it'll just immediately break. Hopefully this will change that. All right, we have instructions. Remove film. Use finger to separate. I'm gonna have to let my hands warm up. I'm cold right now and I can't do anything. And there we go. It's installed. We now have a tablet inside of a case. And man, this thing is sealed in here. It is not going anywhere. But it makes the power and volume buttons a lot easier to use. It's got covers over the charge port and the headphone jack if you're into that sort of thing. Yeah, for like eight bucks or whatever this thing was, it's totally great. And now I can hold onto this tablet and actually use it without fear of breaking it. You deserve it. You work it. You work it. You work it. You work it. 